Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back and welcome to today's video. I have for you my April favorites. I had a lot of things that I loved this month. I have everything just kind of scattered in front of me right now. I'm just gonna try to get through all of it without talking too much about each one and just give you guys the nitty gritty, the facts, and let you know why I'm loving these items so much. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. I wanna start off with something very random Random. This is from a brand called DHC. I don't know and I've never heard of this brand before, but these are the Silky Cotton Natural Cotton Pads. This is something that I actually found at Riley Rose. If you guys have a Riley Rose near you, you need to check it out. It is the most unique, fun store ever. My sister and my niece went in there a few weeks ago. That's when I picked these up. They just have so many interesting, awesome things in there. We spent like an hour and a half. In fact, it was the last store that we hit up before we left the mall and we were literally in there until close like they shut the lights off like that's how long we were standing in there but this says um, that this is a delicate silk blend wrapped around layers of 100% natural cotton you guys if you have tried just those typical cotton rounds and you put some micellar water on there or makeup remover and you go to remove your makeup and it's just leaving like those cotton fibers things are balling up this is your answer so here's what these look like they're extremely soft but they are all Oh, so durable. I'm 33 years old. Where the hell has this been my whole life? Like these are a lifesaver. I plan on bringing some of them with me when I go to New York. It's just the texture of them are so soft, yet they're so extremely effective at actually gripping makeup and getting everything off. I feel like I'm not wasting them. I only need to use a couple to get like a full face of makeup off. Makeup off. And my earring just fell out. Cute. Well, let's lose the other one then. Awesome. We're going earringless for the rest of this video. <laughs> Anyways, these are just so awesome. Check them out. If you don't have a Riley Rose, just Google it. I'm going to try to put a couple links below, but my goodness, are these just game-changing, fantastic. Moving on, another personal care product. This is something that I think is brand new. Um, again, another item that I kind of just stumbled across while shopping at Target. This is the Dove 0% Aluminum Cucumber and Green Tea Moisturizing Deodorant. I have tried so many natural deodorants and they work for a while and then I swear the more I use them it's like my body gets used to them and they just stop working. I'm not a very sweaty person in my underarm area but I do you know get a little smell here and there and that's kind of the protection that I'm looking for. It says this offers a 24-hour odor protection and that is very true. It's very hydrating, very moisturizing. There is added fragrance in this so I'm just going to be honest and tell you that. If you are sensitive to fragrances then maybe you might want to avoid this. I think it smells amazing and the scent doesn't bother me but if your skin is reactive to perfumes and fragrances in products then this might not be the answer for you but if not this is an awesome way to get used to not using deodorants with aluminum in them because it still acts like a normal deodorant to me. You still get that nice fragrance, that scent from it. It keeps you fresh all day and of course it's Dove so my underarms feel nice and soft and fresh. So I have been loving that. Let's talk about some setting sprays. I'm not going to talk a ton about this, but obviously the Morphe Continuing Setting Mist. This is just hands down one of the best, if not the best setting sprays I personally have ever used. I don't know if it's actually supposed to make your makeup last longer. It doesn't really say that per se, but I feel like it does. So for me, I really, really enjoy this. It sets my makeup down beautifully and come on y'all that mist. Fantastic. And it smells amazing. Another setting mist. Now this one is actually infused with skincare. If you are very, very dry, then this is something that you definitely want to look into. This is from a brand called Is Clinical. This is their copper firming mist. This is infused with um, copper tripeptides. There's a lot of hydrating elements to this. If you want to transform a look that just came out a little bit too dry, if you want to make a highlight pop, this is gorgeous to set your makeup with. Even on days that you're doing like a no makeup makeup day, this just gives your skin like that 
effortless dewiness and the best part about it is that it's infused with skincare. I don't believe, I'm not 100% sure that you can order Is Clinical online. I think there is one website that sells it, um, but a lot of med spas will carry this. If you do like a Google search, you can find it. It smells fantastic. This is completely plant-based. There's no preservatives, no silicones or anything in it. And all of Is Clinical products are actually safe for pregnancy and cancer patients, which is really, really interesting but this is a beautiful mist when I just want my skin to have more of a glow a little bit of an effortless dewiness to it then this is the mist that I go for all right moving on I do have to touch on a foundation I have not been using anything else besides this in the last like probably 10 15 or even 20 videos you've seen on my channel this is the foundation that I am wearing this is the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear I did have to change the shade I was using I was using I think 440 or 445 it did oxidize and it was just a little bit too dark for my skin um, the 425 is what I have been using and it is perfect it's what I have on right now this is hands down the best foundation I have used ever. Honestly, you guys, I'm not even kidding you. This is $11.99 at Target. That's it. I think the last time I bought this, there was even a coupon for like $3 off. So it was a complete steal. They do have this at Ulta as well, but it's a little bit more pricey there. So if there's a Target near you or like a drugstore that carries this, I definitely suggest checking them first because you may be able to get it cheaper. But this does have an SPF 25 in it, broad spectrum sunscreen included. It is fragranced. So again, if you or sensitive to that beware but I do suffer from some redness on the skin and I really don't have any issues with the fragrance in this product that is just me I don't I don't see my skin reacting to it but my goodness does it give you the most beautiful effortless skin like coverage if you use a sponge it does take away from that coverage just a bit but you can layer and layer and layer this product and it just never looks cakey this is my go-to I plan on wearing this on my wedding day it is truly long wearing so check it out if you haven't already it is definitely worth the hype I have gotten several of my friends and family completely hooked on the formula it is fantastic. Speaking of um, face products, the Pure 4-in-1 Mineral Pressed Foundation, I have mine in the shade Golden Medium. I don't know why I didn't pick this up sooner. I have a friend of mine. She's also on YouTube, Allison Jacobs. She is a near and dear friend of mine. She wasn't a huge fan of foundation. This is all she would wear, and she would rant and rave about this pure four-in-one powder foundation, and now I understand why. You guys, this is the most bomb mineral powder foundation Ever. Bare Minerals who, seriously, this just makes your skin look hydrated, just soft and poreless and effortless. If you want just that perfect hint of coverage, something that you know you just want to buff onto the face real quickly before work, this is it. The most amazing thing about this product is that, again, it doesn't make you look dry. In fact, after I have it on for like 15 or 20 minutes, my skin almost has like a luminous, dewy finish. I am pretty sure that it is um, infused with like hyaluronic acid. Um, and Pure is a very clean makeup brand. Obviously, I use the word clean loosely in cosmetics, but it is cleaner than most. It is mineral-based using a very densely fat, very densely fat, that's not the word I wanted to use, a very densely packed kabuki brush buff this on the skin on top of a really nice hydrating primer and uh, you are set to go it is so beautiful you can even use it as a finishing powder because or a setting powder I should say or if you want to just build up some coverage on a more sheer foundation you guys she's a beauty she is fantastic love it. This is kind of a cheat because I've only been using it for a little over a week but the Jeffree Star concealer and setting powders my goodness, like I said in my review of this, if you haven't checked it out, I will link it down below. This is magic. This is the C6 Concealer. This is the Magic Star Concealer and the Translucent Magic Star Setting Powder. These are a force to be reckoned with. I have not been able to use anything else since I have purchased this. I have it on right now. It just gives my under eyes this just beautiful, 
perfect finish. It actually makes my under eyes look younger. Now I did mention in my review that I do not have any Botox around the eyes or any filler. To be completely transparent with you guys, the only place that I even have ever gotten Botox is just here in my forehead and I do get filler in my lips, but that is it. I don't have it anywhere else on my face. It doesn't crease, it doesn't exaggerate fine lines or any kind of texture. It is just, I can't. I can't, it's just, it's so good. There isn't really any words for it. The packaging, this powder smells just lightly like cotton candy, I want to eat it. I wish it was like a fun dip where I could dip in there and it was edible because it smells so freaking good. I just, this combination is, I don't know, I, I can't see there ever being anything better than this. So just golf clap. Cheers to Jeffree Star for coming out with this because I think that this is what we have all been looking for in a concealer and a setting powder, all ages, all skin types. It is just fantastic. Moving on from that, I have to give some love to my Wet n Wild sponges. I have Beauty Blender, I have the Morphe sponges. I don't know, I have a few other sponges, but these are what I reach for time and time again. So this is the larger pink sponge. You can get these at Target. This is like $3.99. $3.99, are you freaking kidding me? This is the best sponge, this is better than Beauty Blender. Hands down, better than Beauty Blender, you need to run, order, rush, hop online, something, and order this sponge, it is beautiful. I absolutely love it. It is like the softest affordable sponge. I think that that was my problem with a lot of the other drugstore sponges or really any sponge for that matter that wasn't Beauty Blender. They didn't have that really soft, extra bounty texture. These do, now these are the smaller version. These are more for like the under eyes, but I still use this for foundation if this is dirty and I'm too lazy to clean it. And this is just as soft, like they're just like little fluffy clouds. They come so super clean. They are very du durable. Um, this one actually comes in a two pack. I don't know where my other one is right now, but you can get two of them for like $3.99 or $5.99. I got this several months ago before Christmas even, and I wash my sponges after every use. These have not broken down, cracked, ripped, nothing. Fantastic Wet n Wild. You have something special here. Absolutely love it. Let's touch on a couple of bronzers. There are several. I have just been bronzer obsessed recently and if I showed you guys in this video all of my bronzers we'd be sitting here for 30 minutes because technically they're all my favorites and I've been using like five different bronzers this month to be honest with you. The two specifically, Glamour Bronze in the shade Icon from Morphe. I've talked about this on my channel before. This bronzer is the bomb. That's all I can say. It's got this massive pan. You get almost an entire ounce of product. I believe there's 0.7 ounces in here for $19. You get this giant mirror and it comes in three different shades. Icon, the shade that I have here is the lightest. This is just the lighter than air, blends beautifully, doesn't look too flat or too matte on the skin. It is beautiful. The other one I have been loving is from Fenty. This is the Sun Stalker Bronzers, Instant Warmth Bronzer, blah, 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 instant, blah. instant Warmth Bronzer. This is in the shade Shady Biz. Um, I think this is the second to lightest shade. I picked this up in the little bronze duo. Again, if you haven't watched my review on this, I will link it down below. This is another effortless, beautiful bronzer. Obsessed, I wanna buy the larger pan. An eyeshadow palette I have to give some love to is from Too Faced. This is the Natural Lust palette. Another item that I have recently reviewed, but another one I cannot stop using. The color story in here, the blendability, the mattes are just beautiful. Beautiful pigmentation here, bomb ass shimmer shades. Just the layout and collection of shades in here are a standout. Upon thinking, to me, this is like, a sister of the Jaclyn Hill palette. It has all of those shades that you kind of wish were in that palette. So like all the shades plus this. It's weird to say, but it's kind of like an extension of that. It's just got some of these more softer, pinkier, warmer, mauve shades, and it's just beautiful. Upon first glance, it does look very typical, like, oh, I already have a lot of those shades, but trust me when I say that there is something just slightly different about each of these. Every time I've worn this in a video, you guys have asked me, what is on your eyes? It has typically been this palette. Absolutely love it, totally worth the money. Too Faced really knocked it out of the park with that one. I do wanna give a quick shout out 
Let me get my crap out of the way here. I don't want to spend a ton of time on it, but the Blood Sugar Palette from Jeffree Star. This is fantastic. The formula, the packaging, just the color story, the selection of shades in here is just, just bomb as shit. I love it. It's so good. I just want to keep reaching for it. This top row here is like the shit. I absolutely love it. Everyday looks. I love the matte shades here. This shade right here, Donor, this like deep coppery shade. So good. I love it. Um, this is another one that I had just left out right here on my vanity with my Natural Lust palette. Let's talk about a couple of highlighters. I have like a million in front of me from ColourPop and I'm just going to give, oops, Kind of smeared my lipstick there. I'm just gonna give a shout out to all of them. I have um, I have five ColourPop Super Shock highlighters in front of me. I'm gonna give you my, I can't even say my top three. They're just all my favorite. They're fantastic. But I do have to touch on Thimble and On the Cusp. These two right here. I will do a quick swatch. Thimble is just this beautiful golden champagne-y shade. Oh, it is so gorgeous. If you have just like a very light tan or if you have olive undertones to your skin, this highlight is so complimentary. It's just beautiful. I feel like it was made for me. The other one here on the cusp, this came from Kathleen Light's Zodiac Collection. This one is a little bit more of like a rosy undertone, a little bit more gold, but these two, you guys, these are my favorite favorite highlighters right now. After that, I would have to say, which I also have in front of me, is the shade Flexitarian. If you want a highlight that will blow your mom, your sister, your dad into outer space, this is the highlight. It is blinging, popping, bright as hell. It is absolutely gorgeous. In fact, you only need a little bit. Like, look at that. I'm gonna dab some of this just, just gently on my cheek. Hello, gorgeous. If you just wanna like stun them and just have that outer glow from outer space, just seriously, it's like glowing glass skin. Absolutely beautiful. Sometimes I will sit here and just like layer these all on top of each other. I'm just like overload extra with the highlight. The other two I love, again, from Kathleen Light's collection, this is the shade Fire. This one is more closely, I'd say it's almost like a dupe for the... I think it's the Royal Crown. Is that what it was? The Royal, I can't, Royal Glow, I think it was from Becca. Love that. And then we have Guilty Pleasure. This is from their holiday collection. These two are beautiful as well. Like I said, I just sit here and I just keep these out of my vanity and alternate through them. But my God, they are, there's nothing like that formula. Beautiful. They are my favorite highlights, hands down. I do want to touch on a couple of eye products here. First off, this eyelash curler from Japanesque. If you have almond-shaped eyes like me, this Japanesque Lash Curler, check it out. You can get this at Target. It's like $7.99. I believe it's the only black one. I don't even know what this is called. There's a couple different ones, but it's this one right here. It's just one of their, I think it's like a high-impact lash curler. Fantastic. For $7.99, I'm shocked that it's that cheap for how well it performs. The construction of it, it feels very sturdy. It just... It curls my lashes in the most beautiful way. I have to give it to the ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara. I also am using a lot of roller lash, but the last few weeks I have just been obsessed with the Black on Black BFF Mascara from ColourPop. It's what I have on my eyes right now. Uh, I want to give some love to Makeup Geek. They have these eyeliner duos that you can get at Target. They're $11.99. This one came in a set with black and nude. This nude especially is the perfect nude for in the waterline to give you that extra awake look. I love it and you can actually use it too on the upper lash line here and pack shadow on top of it like if you want to do more artistry looks. It is perfect for that. The black is the most creamy but stays in place black Ever. These two are just fantastic. This formula, $11.99 for these. Impressed. Love them. Let's talk about what's on my lips right now. I got this little pencil. It's pretty worn down at this point, but it is the Nothing But Nude. This is from Sephora. This is their Contour Gel Lip Liner. This is the best, most beautiful gel lip liner I have ever tried. I have swatches all over me, but 
It is just so soft and beautiful and pigmented. I absolutely am in love with it. I wanna pick up more of these. This was a sample size. This has kind of been like in my everyday makeup bag where I line my lips, fill it in, and then I just pop like a gloss on top. I do have the Fenty Gloss Bomb on top of it right now. But my lips just look so like smooth and hydrated and beautiful. It stays in place. It doesn't smudge or move around. They're just amazing. I think that more people need to talk about the Sephora brand. I feel like there's so many items within that brand, like the Sephora name brand, that a lot of people just don't talk about. But these liners, I need more of them. They're amazing. All right, you guys, we just have a couple more products to get through. I do want to touch on a lipstick quickly. This is from MAC. This is the Luster Formula in the shade Fresh Brew. I stumbled upon this. Can I even swatch this right now? Let's do this. Several weeks ago, I was at the Mall of America shopping. I have been on the hunt for a nude like this that is more brown creamy brown tone that is less on the peachy side and this was it for me when I put this on and I tested it in store sold the funny thing was I was at the Mac that the actual Mac store in the Mall of America they were sold out they said go try the Mac inside Macy's they were sold out at this point I was like I need this freaking lipstick this is the lipstick I have been searching for for my entire life. Going to Nordstrom, she's like, oh, I don't think we have it. I think we're sold out. And just as I was about to leave, the girl came up to me with both of them and she's like, I have two left. Obviously, needless to say, I bought them both and I even ordered another one from Mac.com. Like that is how obsessed I am with this shade. It is my perfect nude lipstick. I am in love. I keep one in my vanity. I have one in my purse and I keep one in my bathroom. Not even joking, you guys. It is the truth, but this lipstick is just beautiful. Last two products. I have two brow products in front of me. Dip Brow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is perfect probably past expiration and I might want to get a new one. This has been sitting in my drawer for forever. I completely forgot about it. I was trying to do some spring cleaning here in my beauty room and I reached back there and I pulled it out and I was like, oh my God, I forgot about you. And I've been dipping into it and I've been alternating between this and a pencil that I had been testing out. Oh my God, this formula you just can't beat it. It is so smooth, so easy to work with. I have put a pretty good dent in it and it stays in place. I love that they have so many colors to choose from too. My brows are very dark. I have almost black brows that have a very cool undertone and their dark brown actually matches that. I find a lot of brow products that are labeled dark brown tend to pull very warm and that is not me. So that is a godsend. That is going to be a product that is pretty much in my collection forever. Last but not least from ColourPop, this is their Brow Boss Gel. Again, I have mine in the shade dark brown. This is by far one of the best affordable brow gels I have ever tried. My brows are so wonky today, you guys. Please excuse me, but it adds just like that extra bit of color. A lot of the times on during my work week, I will put just this on and nothing else. I do have thicker brows. I am a little bit lucky in that department where I don't need a whole lot to fill them in. So sometimes a product like this that I can just build up on itself, sweep into the brows, keeps them in place, gives them color. This works perfect for me. So I think this is like six or seven bucks from ColourPop's website. Beautiful formula, pigmented, it keeps your brows in place and does add some volume and fluffiness to the brow. Brows. Favorite. Again, this is something that I keep with me at all times. Wow. So there you guys have it. No joke. All of this stuff is just stuff that I have just had in rotation in my makeup bag, sitting out on my vanity. These are my go-to products. I haven't been straying much from a lot of my go-to. In fact, I'm looking at my makeup collection and I'm like, wow, I have a lot that I could actually get rid of. I feel like once you find those products that just work for you and enhance your natural beauty, and just make you feel comfortable and they're just long wearing products you can't feel them they're just effortless you just don't really feel the need to reach for other things and that's kind of how I feel about the products that I've shared with you guys today they're just 
They're so fantastic. They are solid. You'll probably see a lot of them in my May favorites, my June favorites. It's the truth. It just is what it is. Let me know if I mentioned any products that are also your favorites. Let me know what your favorites were. Something that I didn't mention here because your girl is always open to trying new things. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. And of course, share it. That helps me so, so much. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. It has just been, it's been crazy. It's been a whirlwind. And I do want to say that that 10K giveaway is coming. We have surpassed 10K. Like, what? I just sit here like pinching myself like, is this real life? Um, but it is still coming. I'm just trying to work out the kinks. I really want to make it a special giveaway. So stay tuned for that. It is just one of the ways that I can repay you guys for your love and support. I, I could never repay you enough. So thank you. I love you guys so much and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye guys.